Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent sensory consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I'm back today to continue my sniff session of the new spring and summer catalog. We left off last time on florals. So this video, we will be, will, uh, we will be focusing on the fresh category. So I do have all of my testers from the fresh, fresh category and I did find out where my missing testers were. I was correct. They were all at my mother's house. So now I found all my missing testers in case anybody was wondering about those. So we'll go ahead and get right started. Um, uh, let's see. I'll try to pull them out in alphabetical order so you guys can follow along with me. I think right here. Okay. So aloe water and cucumber. There we go. Um, this one has aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar. To me, it's a really good botanical scent, and I do like the pineapple nectar in here because it brings like a sweetness to it. And the cucumber peel almost reads melon-like. This was amazing when it was in the cleaning line. I really wish they would bring it back to cleaning. Um, but I do enjoy aloe water and cucumber. It's a great bathroom scent. I primarily warm it in my bathrooms. I have warmed it in my kitchen before. It's like a medium to light scent, but it's one of those ones that like lingers and lasts for a long time. Like I can usually get two days um, out of aloe water and cucumber when I warm it. So I do like it for that. Amazon Rain. This one is melon, orange zest, coconut milk and jasmine so again this is a really good fresh green bar and again it has like spa lake vibes to it because of the coconut milk and the night blooming jasmine is really really good in this one this also was in the um laundry line at one point and then they discontinued it i do remember liking it in the laundry line so um amazon rain it's, it's another scent that I only warm like in the kitchen and the bathroom. I have warmed it in my bedroom before, but really it's been on nights that are like extremely humid out um, that I've warmed it in the bedroom. And again, it's like an average performer for a Scentsy. So usually about a day, medium strength. It's really not a bad sign. I think like everybody should try Amazon Rain. Okay, banana in rainfall. Um, banana bamboo in rainfall. This is a new release this year. I I don't like this one only because it gives me an instant headache. But I do have to give props for it to do because it does last quite a long time. Um, so it's got rainfall, fresh bamboo, and melon water. The melon water is really not like a sweetness to the bar at all. It kind of reads cucumbery. But it's very heavy on the aquatic notes. So if you like things like that, then this one will be um, a good one to pick up. But it's so similar to like Bamboo Yuzu and the Lion King in the Jungle Bar and other green scents like that. But to me, it gave me an instant headache. So it's one I will avoid. Um, but it is a good performer. Banana Leaf and Bamboo. This was a new release last year. It's white peach, banana leaf, aged bamboo, and sheer mahogany. This one's really good. Um, again, it's got like a similar profile to those other green bars that I mentioned, bamboo yuzu, um, the, the Lion King in the Jungle Bar, Prickly Pear Agave, Sea Salt and Avocado. It's kind of like got the, that similar scent profile. But let me tell you, they introduced this scent to the cleaning line for the March catalog. It is amazing. I've been using the all-purpose concentrate on my fours. The peach, note that's in here, comes out so much in the cleaning products. It kind of leaves it like a fresh fruity, like it's really, really good. If you are going to miss make a splash from the cleaning line because that scent is retiring from the cleaning line, in March, you'll still be able to get it in wax form, but you won't be able to get it in the cleaning products. Pick up banana leaf and bamboo because it's got that melon in it. Like the peach reads melony for some reason in the cleaning products. And it's great. Like I absolutely love it. Um, I don't remember how the wax performed though from last year. 
I do remember that I liked it, but I think it was so similar in profile to like the other green scents that I had in my stash that I just didn't buy it more, you know, because I think back then I had a lot of aloe vera and ivory and I had a lot of sunburst bamboo still. So I didn't really pick this up a lot to warm. So I think I might grab another bar of it to try, but I do remember liking it last year. I just don't remember like its performance. By the Sea, this one I have never really cared for or purchased, but let me tell you, I've had so many local customers the past two months pick up this bar that I have smelt it in bar form and I'm like, this is actually a pretty decent scent. Um, it's ocean and seaside, ocean air and seaside, um, seaside grass. I, I kind of actually like it. I kind of do. I want to get a bar and try it in my bathroom this summer, I think. But if anybody in the comments that's um, watching this video, let me know if you tried by the sea and what your performance has been with it. Because I think it will be a really good bathroom scent. And it's been in the catalog for quite a while, so. Clean Breeze. One of our laundry scents. This one is flo White Florals and Clean Laundry. To me, this one, this one smells more like laundry detergent, like store generic laundry detergent. And it's not as strong as clothesline, but it's, it's strong. It's just not as strong as clothesline. Um, I feel like cl if clothesline is too strong for you, then try Clean Breeze because it might be um, one that you can tolerate. I prefer clothesline, so I don't warm Clean Breeze as much, but I have a lot of local customers that do like Clean Breeze. But clothesline. Clothesline's my favorite. My favorite laundry scent. This is Dupe for Downy. It smells just like Downy uh, fabric softener. Um, clothesline is crisp greens, orange flower, violet, and laundry. I want to say before they said the note was like white wicker basket. Yeah, it's in here, white wicker basket. To me, it's a dupe for a downy. It literally smells like you're outside hanging up clothes that freshly came out of the washing machine on the line. So freaking strong. I have gotten anywhere from seven to nine days of performance with clothesline. That's in like in a small room. If I'm, if I'm warming this like in a large space, I can usually get three days. But in a small room, like a bathroom or like a laundry room, seven to nine days for clothesline like one or two cubes. I'm telling you, it's a good one. Okay, next. Cocoa for Coconuts. Cocoa for Coconuts is Ocean Breeze Wild Coconut and Tiare Flower. I do like Tiare and Coconut better than I like Cocoa for Coconuts. And I don't know if it's because the coconut note that's in here is more of like a solidified coconut oil, like an authentic coconut chunk versus like a sweet coconut or like a tropical coconut. It's not bad. I've mixed this before with cocoa for, uh, co no, I've mixed cocoa for coconuts with cocoa lime. And I've also mixed it with my coconut lemongrass. It just amplifies like the, the coconut. Um, but it is a good mixer scent. So, and it's like a lighter coconut. So if you aren't into those tropical sweet coconut scents, but like the more like authentic natural coconut than like earthy coconut, then this is what I would recommend. All right, Daydream Oasis. This one is sweet melon, pear leaf and water lily. This one I don't mind in wax, but I don't care for it in the cleaning line. For some reason, in the cleaning line, it's got like a weird chemical note to it. But in wax, it's not bad, but it is on the lighter side. So, that's Daydream Oasis. Jammy Time. You can't go wrong with Jammy Time. Jammy Time's been in the catalog for like ever. Um, it's got Baby Freesia lavender and sweet pea you really smell all of that in here and it's super strong i actually have a body cream of jammy time in my office that i use and when i put 
when I put on the body cream, like I can still smell it on my hands like hours later. So I really like jammy time and I do like it in the laundry line. It's really nice. Just Breathe, AKA Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> it's got eucalyptus, lemon, and mint, but honestly it smells like Vicks Vapor Rub. I love this. It will it will open up your nostrils. Like if you've got a stuffed nose, just stick this tester under your nose and it will clear it right up. It's so strong. I love warming this in the uh, bedroom when I'm sick because it just opens everything up. And that one's really strong too. I usually get quite a few days of performance out of Just Breathe. Like My Day. I actually didn't care for this one last year. This one's got Lake Waves, Crisp Bergamot, and Oak Moss. I was hoping that the Bergamot would read more lemon than it does cologne. And even though it reads cologne, it's like a subtle cologne. It's not musky or anything like that. And it's got a little, I can kind of make out the Oak Moss. Kind of makes it like earthy a little bit. But it wasn't a great performer in my opinion in my house. Um, it was very light, like very, very light. And I don't even think it lasted a full day. Um, Magnolia Linen. This one's another light one too, guys. I really don't like Magnolia Linen. It's Sunwash Linen, linen Magnolia, and Honeysuckle. It's always light for me. It's always light. And unfortunately, this is going away in the laundry line. Um, but you can still get it in wax form. And then we've got Make a Splash. Where's Make a Splash? Right here. Make a Splash is Dewy Melon, Green Apple, and Turquoise Water. So like I said, this is going away in the um, cleaning products, but you can still get it in wax. And to me, if you're missing Iridescent Pearl, Make a Splash is a really good like alternative to it. Not the same by any means, but it's a good alternative. And I do like Make a Splash. But it's like an average performer for Sunsea, like a day. Um, Mountain Sunset. This one, I've heard get stronger as it cures. So it's got Wild Bluebell, Warm Woods, Coconut, and Golden Amber. So when this came out last year as a new release, I thought I was really going to like it because of the Bluebell and the Coconut and um the warm woods but it was a dud for me like i could barely smell it but i hear on youtube that a lot of you guys that had a bar left over from last year you're warming it now and it's extremely strong and it's like performing for you guys so i'm definitely going to pick up a bar um, and let it sit for a little bit and then warm it later on this summer um, because I do want to see if I get that same experience. But from what I remember last year, I could barely smell it. Almost like the same experience I got with white amber and silk. I could barely smell that either. So that's Mountain Sunset. Newborn Nursery. This is just smells like Tolkien baby powder. Like... Yeah, it literally just smells like baby powder, which you think I would like this scent because I do like Inner Peace, which is my lemon scented baby powder scent. But this one is so authentic. Johnson & Johnson, Tulk Cancer Powder <laughs> that I just can't do it. And this was a white wax and my tester is yellow. So, but from what I remember from like the one time I warmed this bar, um, it is a strong one. I definitely think it's more than a two-day scent, but honestly, I could only warm this in a bathroom. Like, I couldn't warm this in a bedroom or, like, an open living space. Like, I would have to keep that to, like, a bathroom laundry area. Palm trees and ocean breeze. I know that's here somewhere. Where are you? Right here. Um, this one is... Palm leaf, coconut water, and ocean breeze. So I'm pretty sure this was like a scent of the month and they put it in the catalog. To me, another one that I don't get much performance of. It's extremely light. I feel like, I feel like this is similar to By the Sea, but By the Sea is much stronger. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, 
just got wax flying in my face. No, by the sea's got like more of like this like grass to it, which is that seaside grass. I don't know, anybody in the comments that's watching, what has your experience been with palm trees and ocean breeze? Because all I can remember is that it was super light for me and not enough for me like to remember it at all. Whipped Vanilla Lavender. I do remember this one. It was a Mother's Day limited time offering um, to Mother Day collections ago. It's coconut milk, whipped vanilla, and English lavender. I really, really like this one. It's almost got like a burnt toasty note to it. It's so good in the body care. They, they should have put this in body care. It's been in the catalog for um, a couple rounds now, but... This is a really good lavender scent. If you're missing lavender cotton um, or oh, what was that other lavender scent I did? What was it? Lavender and violet or something like that. I can't remember. Um, this one's a really, really good one. And it's a good performer and it cures stronger. Like my mom has some bars that are so sweaty Betty that if you put them in the warmers now, it's like a nine out of ten for strength and performance versus like a fresh pour so oh white amber and silk this one is what i consider tfl to light like i don't get anything off of this white uh warm amber bergamot and comforting cotton i had high hopes for this when it was a um a new release but again, I could not get anything from it. I tried it in a small space, a larger space, lots of cubes, little to no cubes. Still couldn't get it to perform. But I do hear on YouTube that, again, like Mountain Sunset, you let this bar sit for a long time and then warm it. Then it does perform. So I think I might grab one or just warm my old testers. Like this one is a very old tester. It's can't really see it but it was sweaty and I kind of just wiped all that off um, but I think I might warm it and just revisit it again um, this summer and then last but not least we have woodland meadow woodland meadow is woodland wildflowers forest canopy and bergamot and amber this is like a spring version of woodland suede so if you like Woodland Suede, I definitely think you'll like Woodland Meadow, but you have to go into it knowing it's not going to be as strong or as complex as Woodland Suede. But it is a really good, like, springtime version of that scent. So, and I do remember this one. It was like an average performer. I think it lasted maybe a day, maybe, maybe a little bit shorter than that. Um... But I'll definitely get another rebar to um, another bar to revisit that one. But that's it. That's our fresh category. Um, so fun fact is they didn't cut anything from the fresh category from last year. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. I don't think they cut anything. And they actually gave us a bar because they made um, bamboo and rainfall. So... I think next spring and summer, we might see it. Oh, wait, no, I lied. They did. They did. They got rid of Shoreline Drive. Sorry. So the fresh category was the one that got the least amount of like damage to it because we only got rid of Shoreline Drive and they replaced it with the new scent, Bamboo and Rainfall. So my prediction is that next spring and summer, we'll probably see some considerable cuts from the fresh category because it seems like this year they made tons of cuts to the fruity category and fresh only got one elimination. So, but I guess we'll have to wait till next year to see, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this again is my sniff session of the fresh category for the spring and summer catalog that is launching on Friday, March first. So if you have not checked out my other videos in this series, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll link them in the description box below. And until next time, you guys, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Bye.